team coverage of this tragic, deadly crash continues. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live from where the crash happened with more on how this investigation is being handled. Aya, what have you learned so far? Well, Kara, I could tell you Connecticut State Police are spearheading the investigation, and right now we are at the scene where the crash happened. Both of those cars have since been towed away, but I do want to give you a look. This is a pretty busy intersection. Uh, you could see some of the damage left behind, that damage to the bushes where the police cruiser was uh, during that crash. Some flowers have also been placed here at the scene. Now we want to show you Pinpoint News Tracker, giving you a look at the intersection of Asylum Avenue near the intersection with Cogswell Street for geographic context. This is right by the Hartford Insurance Building. Now we do want to show you some video of what the scene looked like earlier overnight. Connecticut State Police again are handling the investigation. Today Hartford Police Chief Jason Thody shared that it's state police lead investigators in this case. The crash and the events that led up to it were captured on video. Hartford has cameras all over the city and we know that Richard Barrington ran two red lights in the Broad Street area before hitting the Hartford Hartford police cruiser, according to investigators. Now, we do know that police spent all night collecting evidence from the crime scene, and at the request of the Hartford State's Attorney's Office, Connecticut State Police's Central District Major Crime Squad is in charge of the investigation. State police are asking anyone who witnessed the collision or the moments leading up to the collision to give them a call. Again, we're going to stay on top of this story and bring you new developments on air and on the Channel 3 app. We're live in Hartford, Agadan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Aya, thank you. And there are still many details just not known yet about this crash. Our live team coverage will continue in a few moments as new information is revealed and it's coming into our m m newsroom minute by minute. We're going to give you breaking news alerts on the Channel 3 app as well as WFSB.com. You can download it using the QR code right there.